Hello, HR folks. Today with us is Ms. Naila Al Musavi. Ms. Naila Al Musavi is an independent board member with ARCA, and she has got a strong multinational background. She's a champion of diversity and inclusion across Middle East and Africa region, and she's also a champion of women empowerment. So today we're going to hear her thoughts on Gen X and emerging trends. Let's hear her, the, what her thoughts are, because she's a very seasoned HR professional, and how she has been managing and what her thoughts are about how to manage this critical talent called Gen X and how to attract, retain, manage, and keep them engaged at the workplace. Welcome, Ms. Nadal Musavi, to this small talk. Sandeep, thank you for your invitation. Uh, it's wonderful to be with you here today. Uh, and it's always exciting to come up with all sorts of HR topics to enrich the HR mind and provide visibility to the HR people and share best practices. And we're all here to learn from each other. So thank you very much for the invitation. Looking forward uh, to the uh, rich discussion that we have. Now, regarding the Gen X, Sandeep, I think it's important that we step back and, and see what is, who are these Gen X population, yeah. basically? Where have they come from and how are they different? So the Gen X are the youth of the 80s plus. Uh, and they are very, very resourceful. They are independent. They are flexible. And basically... Um, they fit the bracket between the age of 25 to 40. If you look at the year today, they would be in that uh, range. And, um, and today I would like to uh, discuss basically who they are. Um, how has this breed come uh, across? And how as an organization are the risk factors and the benefits of the Gen X being a part of the organization. Brilliant. Thank you, Naila, for giving your thoughts about the Gen X. Uh, you know, there's a lot of hype uh, we hear about mm -hmm. Gen X and uh, people not able to retain this critical talent. And people are, uh, there's a lot of hoopla lie about it. And people are thinking that a lot of talks are going around, mm -hmm. how do you retain, people are, you know, fickle-minded, they are not uh, uh, serious about their work, but we have seen a lot of organizations, they have been able to retain, a, uh, done a fantastic job mm -hmm. in retaining this critical talent. So, how do you visualize, how do you perceive that, what kind of a buzz is there about this, uh, which you call it as a breed of, this new breed of people? I consider them a uh, the, the the this generation a, a new breed uh, it's important to understand the sensitivity uh, of this uh, Gen X population today in the UAE they represent 50% of our population that's a big number okay yeah. so they are a very critical component of our workforce uh, having said this this breed uh, they, they come of a different work style. They are, as I said, self-sufficient. They are hungry for success. Uh, they have a very strong footprint in the society, given their size. And they're very forthcoming. And this sometimes would cause a clash or contradict the latter generation that we have who are quite traditional. That's right. So... Um, it's really important to be able to understand, accept, and be able to adapt and have that balance in the organization and avoid uh, the clashes that they, they would bring to the table. But uh, I feel that if organization were more prepared and understand, then things would be much more smoother because the balance is always important. Nella, ex thank you for explaining this, you know, um definition and uh, some details about this Gen X. Uh, there's a lot of uh, hype about the Generation mm -hmm. X mm -hmm. or we call it Gen X. You know, there's always a, always has been a disconnect between the generations. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Uh, but we see a lot of hoopla about a uh, lot of uh, concepts are being thrown open um, and people are, some are skeptical, some are open about uh, this generation X, which we call it. So what's a, what's a buzz around? What's, what's your take on that? What are the expectations of this Gen X are? How to retain this critical talent, which we call, and how do we ensure that they are aligned uh, and remain productive in the organization? Well, I'll, I'll answer your question in bits, um, Sandeep. First of all, it's really important to understand the demographics. Let's see if we specifically talk about the UAE. Yes. The Gen X population, age range between 25 to 40, That's right. is, constitutes of 50% of the 10 million that we have. That's a sizable population. Yes, um, and uh, they have a very strong footprint in the organization uh, and in the workforce. They're really hungry for success, they are very forthcoming, yeah. and they are unpredictable. So the organization have to understand, accept, and adapt about these Gen X population that is in the workforce and manage it accordingly and retain them if possible. Now, the buzz, the noise about this new breed uh, is that the, the latter um, generations that we've had could clash with the ways and and the styles of the forthcoming styles and uh, and 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 the high maintenance and the demands of the Gen X. However, it's always important to have this balance in the organization, and 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 they they constitute a large workforce number. So balance is good because they bring uh, different ways of working style, they bring innovation, they bring um, speed, they bring um, uh, spirit into the organization. Uh, so it's really important that we appreciate and understand and ask the organizations to also find ways in, 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 in including this population into the organization. I hope I've answered your question. Yes. Uh, you know, you, you say that you are a champion of, uh, you're championing the diversity and inclusion mm -hmm. and uh, you are spearheading the women empowerment. Um, uh, that's a gender equality we talk about mm -hmm. here. So how do you feel that how the small, medium and the large industry uh, in Middle East and Africa region, especially in talking about the Middle East, how prepared are they for the uh, diversity inclusion and uh, for uh, uh, gender equality? Well, small, medium or large enterprises have to understand and uh, the, any success of the organization has to have the balanced demographics. Whether it is gender, whether it's age, whether it's a background. Uh, now, if I speak specifically for the UAE, um, as I said, uh, you know, almost 50% of the workforce constitute of the Gen X. Uh, they bring high levels of energy and innovation and speed into the organization. And having said this, their, um, their life cycle in terms of hire to retire, as HR people call it, is very different from the Gen X population. Yeah, it's no more a cradle to the grave yes. concept now. It's for them, yeah. for them, it's higher to exit. Yeah, and I think so the cycle of employment life cycle, it's squeezing from the, you know, from the, you know, from the hiring to retirement to it is, the cycle is going to around two years, to three five. years. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and the it's five years, five that's, years, yeah. yeah. So that is the classic uh, uh, retention age of this population. Now, it's not that we, there are things that the organization is doing or not doing in, uh, in making them leave uh, the organization, but it's making sure that within that period of time, they get the maximum performance because these are the future generation for growth. Yeah. 
So their speed, their concepts, their ideas is what is required in a demanding competitive market of the United Arab Emirates today. So uh, unlike the other generations, it's more about sustainability, uh, growth at a steady pace, security, security yeah. uh, loyalty. Yes. Uh, it's not that they're not loyal, but they, they seek differentiation, they seek yes. multitasking, yeah. they seek exposure. Yeah. So uh, the organization, on the other hand, have to be also prepared um, uh, and have very robust OD plans, succession yeah. plans, strong uh, pipelines. So uh, if, if the life cycle of um, the Gen X is three to five years, they need to have a very strong backup pipeline of, um, of, of uh, candidates to come and people to plug in and play because this is, this is, this is the cycle. And, uh, and having said this, the organization as well have to introduce uh, strategies, processes, systems to in, to ensure that there's maximum performance in those three to five years. That's right. Because this population as well can be disili easily disengaged. Yes. Yeah. Yes. They're easily disengaged. Uh, they they uh, if if the their their motives and drives are not tapped in then instead of getting maximum performance, you may get no performance. Yes, that could be negative performance. Yes, also. yes. And then, yeah. uh, and then as well, uh, the other challenge is uh, for the HR uh, people and the management is to be able to provide the, uh, the, the harmony and the balance uh, in the organization with this mix. This ecosystem has to be driven from the top created from the top mm -hmm. because you see uh, when when there is no uh, in proper integration then the the generations within make things difficult so we're talking about the right kind of a culture that has to be uh, created within an organization yes, or you yes. call it a very nicely you have put forward the word ecosystem, the ecosystem yeah in an organization um, because in today's world uh, the life cycle, life cycle of the organization is shrinking you know, mm -hmm. gone are the days we are planning for five years, six years. Now the plan is for one year, and it is uh, being shrunk to the quarterly basis. <laughs> so I think so. Your idea of uh, retaining them with a fixed mindset mm -hmm. that uh, the life cycle will be two to five years, and do what best you can do within this two to five years, and retain this critical talent because you can't. This is the talent you can't live without. And uh, you cannot turn your blind eye on it also. True. Yeah. And it's also important to always be prepared. Yes. To be prepared, to be open-minded. So they have, to be, they have to feel involved. Having said this, it does not mean that, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 the latter generations don't have any demands. So they, they, the latter generation bring the loyalty, they bring the maturity, they bring the experience where the, uh, the Gen X, they bring, uh, you know, the speed, the, the spontaneous yes. action. Yeah. Uh, they may not think twice. Yeah. So it's always good to bring uh, both the talents together both, yes. and get that the convergence, just right balance, yes. Yes. The, 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 the balance to be able to drive the organization and make the right decisions. Uh, Naila, uh, you talk about... Uh, that 50% uh, of uh, the demographic population in UAE comprises of the Gen X. Mm. Now, given the fact that 50% of the population is Gen X, the organization has to be prepared that how to manage uh, the drive and aspiration of this Gen X. Mm -hmm. Because uh, if the organization are not prepared and if they don't have the right kind of a structure within an organization, or you call it the ecosystem, mm -hmm. the sooner or later, they won't be able to retain this critical workforce. Mm -hmm. They would have a lot of huge attrition. Mm -hmm. And the survivability of the organization will be tough. So how do you see that, uh, what's your thought on that, how the organization should be able to manage or, or should be able to create an environment 
which will ensure that there is enough drive and they are able to retain uh, this critical talent. Okay. First of all, let me start by saying that the attrition rate is not something that can be eliminated when it comes to the Generation X. Because their life cycle is two to five years. So uh, if when they want change, they will just move with the change. They seek that, that thrive and that differentiation for change. Now, while th they are with the organization, the organization, the ma management line, have to develop practices and able to um, fuel them to perform five years plus if possible. If it's a larger group, then you're able to deploy them on assignments because they seek differentiation, they thrive on this. And uh, best practices, so we've, we've had lots of uh, Gen Xs at Lafarge Wholesome. And we have the different generations working together mm. in a very harmonious way. But then sometimes it's, it's difficult to adapt because they're, they're different styles. Some styles may be offensive, some styles is maybe very new, or some styles are maybe just too fast or too slow for the other. Mm. So the Gen X want to feel very involved. They want to be able to have variety. They want to work on different projects. They want their opinions to be heard, and they want to be rewarded. They want the organizations to engage on lots of fun initiatives because work-life balance is very important for them. So when I had a few Gen Xs uh, within the HR team, uh, again, uh, they had left after four to five years. Uh, the typical life yes, cycle. Yes, and it was just time for them to move on and do different things. Mm. But then within that four or five years, they grew, they um, they, they, they were very ambitious and uh, they were also high maintainers in some case. But then that's what we want. That was, that's what we seek in a multinational organization at least. Because they bring that, that spirit and that fuel and that energy to, to that organization. And thus, the performance. So that means the organization should be now, uh, should have... Uh, should have this conscience that in the, in the, in the structure that f uh, two to five years um, life cycle should not come as a surprise, as a shock to the organization. It should not come to a shock because, I, as I said, they, they, they need to actually understand uh, and adapt to this cycle and the different cycles. So there, 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 there is uh, pros and cons to each generation. So you have the, the short life cycles of be, between two to five years uh, and then you have people who want to live there, stay there, work there forever. That is also quite extreme. Mm -hmm. So um, it's therefore the, it, having that this extreme brings balance to that extreme as well. So you have that rotation of uh, a rich talent pool coming in and out with fresh ideas coming from different industries, different backgrounds. But the, 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 the critical factor is that you need to introduce different variables uh, in order to make this a uh, very successful ecosystem. We look forward to um, hear more of you, your concept, thoughts, and your thought-provoking ideas uh, and your uh, solutions and approach to how to manage uh, this, we call it a Gen breed of uh, Gen Next, who is impulsive, who is unpredictable, unpredictable but yet full of spirit, full and, of ambitions. spirit and has a lot of expectation from the organization and whose life cycle has been shrunk from cradle to the grave to two years to the five years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank uh, you, Ms. and Stella. looking forward for the yes. 26th. Yeah, we look forward to it.